mo yung cystic acne. Okay? Yung mukha ko po, hindi po ako nagbibiro, yung mukha ko po dati, parang pinball na tinubuan ng mukha. Ganun po kagrabe. Okay? You can still probably see some of the marks there. But because of our product, because internally and externally, malaki po itong tulong sa akin. Before, medyo mahiyahin po ako pag may mga parties, mga tagway, mas more of a reclusive type of person dahil marami pa akong pimples dahil sa pollution dito sa Manila at madalas dahil sa kinakain ko. Ang hilig ko po sa pinerito. Okay? Oily, junk food. Okay? Umaga pa lang. Eh, Siyempre, lahat po ng mga processed foods niya. Snack namin sa gabi, instant noodles, okay? mga chips. Ang hilig ko po niya. Hindi ko po pipigilan yan, mas kailang uh, no, dati mga clover chips, chippy, mga ganyan. No? So, mahilig po ako niya dati. Okay? So, nang dahil sa forever, I started to learn about how to, you know, clean up your system, how to maintain your health. So, I have considerably eliminated all these uh, toxins in my body and it helped me a lot. Okay? Internally and externally. Kaya importante po yun. Okay? You are here to attend this training because all of us wants to be healthy, yes or no? Yes! If you are here not to become healthy, then this training is not for you. Yes. And first things first, how can you effectively share to other people good health when you yourself is not healthy? Diba? Intindihan niyo po ba? Okay? Alam mo, parang ganda ng ano natin, ng uh, aloe vera niya, nakatulo niyan sa asma mo, pero inihika ka rin. <laughs> Habang nakikwento ka, di ba? So, hindi po maganda. Okay? Kaya, bibenta ka ng skincare. Limbawa, tapos nakikita naman yung, tinitingnan naman yung mukha mo. Parang hindi nagtutugma ang sinasabi mo at, you know? Okay? Kaya mag-ingat rin kayo, di ba? Hindi kayo pa nahihirapan sila magbenta. Mag, uh, magsasalita kayo about the business halimbawa ng forever tapos hindi naman nakikita sa itsura mo or wala naman sa kumpiyansa mo. Okay? So it will also affect you partly. Okay? So you also have to, what we say, walk your talk. Okay? So, and uh, so that you will be more confident, okay? You have to learn as much as you can about the products and about our business. Okay? Uh, kasi pag sumabak na kayo sa labas, nang pong gera sa labas, eh, kung kulang po ang ammunition nyo, eh, tatalunin po kayo. Kung ang kalaban nyo, eh, ang tawa yan, eh, naka-armala eh, tapos ikaw naka-pistol lang. Bawat isang putok mo, eh, ratsada yung putok niya sa'yo, eh, di, una kang mamamatay. Kaya pinagtatawa na tayo. Diba? Bakit kung ang katapat nila, eh, si Rat Profesora, sila Gilbert and Duma, sila June and Duma, yung mga, yung mga leaders natin, eh, sila J.M. Jackson, no? Pag sila ang katapat, ba't yung mga tao nagpapatahimik at nakikinig? Okay? Because they know what they are doing. Okay? So yun rin po ang pinag-aralan natin. Here, here, this is Aloe Vera of America. Okay? Now, this Aloe Vera of America, this has been there since 1952. Okay? The owner of this company uh, was Dr. Bill Coates. Now, this Dr. Bill Coates and a group of doctors Sila po, they were the first uh, group of doctors who discovered the benefits and uh, studied aloe vera and its benefits. And they were the ones who were able to perfect the stabilization process. So, we started 1978, correct? Nung na nakita na ni Rexmond yung marketing plan na maganda, naghanap siya ng produkto na mag-match siya negosyo niya. And he found this company. So because may pera siya, he had money. He bought the whole company. He bought the research. He bought the patents. He bought everything. He bought out the Dr. Bill Coates research. That's why Aloe Vera of America, okay? The Aloe Vera gel, for example, the Aloe Vera jelly, these are products that are a product of more than 50 years of research. Okay? Ang tagal na po ng research na yan. Kaya halos masasabi ko parang perfect na yan na aloe vera. Yung aloe vera gel natin. That's why that is our main uh, product natin. Bread and butter po natin yan. Now, lahat po kayo, all of you have seen aloe vera already? Okay? Diba? If you notice, if you fillet the aloe vera leaf, what do you see inside? The inner gel. 
That is what is inside all our aloe vera based products, no? the aloe vera gel. Okay? So, konting history lang. Aloe vera, botanists, hindi po forever living. Ha? Botanists have identified there are at least more than two to three hundred different species of aloe vera. So, marami pong klase ito. May gulay, may cactus. Okay? Ang forever, uh, ang forever po, ang ginagamit po natin na uh, aloe vera dito po sa vegetable na side. No? Sa buong mundo po, there are only four, four to five vegetable kinds of aloe vera. So sa buong mundo, out of, sa dami ng aloe vera na klase, lima lang po ang gulay. Apat or lima ang gulay na klase. Ang pinaka-potent po niya, ang pinaka-mataas ang nutrients, the most potent kind of aloe vera among the vegetable kind is what we call the aloe barbadensis miller, founded by Dr. Miller himself. Yun po, ang ginagamit ng forever living products. Okay? Yung pag sinabi mong aloe vera, when I talk about aloe vera, I'm always referring to the most potent aloe vera, which is aloe barbadensis. So, hanapin niyo po yan sa mga ingredients. Nakalagay po dyan, aloe barbadensis. Okay? Except po yung gel na yan, kasi hindi na kailangan uh, sabi, kasi yun po yung, yung uh, aloe vera ginagamit natin. So, yung characteristics po yun, kasi... I know, maraming Filipino, kilala nilang aloe vera kasi tumutubo lang yan kung saan-saan, di ba? Okay? At madalas ang matanong nila, okay? uh, di ba, dami naman yan yung aloe vera nyo, saan-saan lang tumutubo. Now, yung aloe vera natin grows up to a height of about 3 feet. Tatlong feet po. Okay? Ngayon, kasama yung bulaklak, the blossom, it can grow up to a height of about 5 to 6 feet. Namumulaklak po yung aloe vera natin. So, kung meron po kayong aloe vera sa bahay niyo at hindi po namumulaklak, okay? So, pag-isip-isip na po kayo. Baka hindi po yan yung aloe parthenensis miller, okay? So, ang pag-harvest, when we harvest the leaves, we wait for the maturity. The maturity is 2 years and only up to 4 years. So, between 2 to 4 years, yun po ang pag-harvest natin sa mga Dahong. And we only fillet the inner gel. Okay? The company found out, nalaman po ng kumpanya, na wala pong sustansya dito sa labas na parte ng dahon. Ang sustansya, nasa loob, yung inner gel. Okay? So, aloe vera equals gulay. Naintindihan niyo po ba yun? Okay. Dahil gulay lang po, because aloe vera is just a vegetable. Gulay lang ha, vegetable. Aloe vera will not cure us of any kind of disease. Okay, so, tandaan nyo po yun. Ang aloe vera, hindi po medisina. Hindi po yan tambal sa Bisaya. Hindi rin po yan gamot sa Tagalog. Okay, kinaklaro ko lang po. Okay? So, aloe vera isang gulay lang po. Kaya hindi po siyang nagpapagaling ng mga kung ano ng mga problema sa Katawan. Pero, aprobado po tayo sa FDA. We are approved by the Food and Drug Administration as a food, pagkain, food supplement. Kaya maraming tao, I'm sure, pag nakikita na kabote, natatakot na kaagad. Di ba? Ano ba yung dosage niya? Di ba? Dosage, kagad tinatanong, di ba? Eh, kaano ba ka-epektibo niya, di ba? So, yun ang kailangan may klaro mo sa kanila para sila, para kang umiinom ng apple juice, orange juice. Kailangan mo pa ba ng reseta sa doktor? Hindi, di ba? Pero aprobado yan sa FDA as a food. Eh, yung mga binibenta sa mga grocery ng mga gulay, ng mga prutas. Just like our food products here, okay? Ang kaibahan lang noon ang channel of distribution. Sila po binibenta sa traditional na paraan. Advertisement, okay? Meron silang wholesaler, middleman, may mga grocery. Tayo, direkta. Direct selling. From the company, diretso sa distributor, diretso sa customer. Wala nang warehouse, uh, wala nang middleman, wala nang wholesaler na retailer na dinadaanan, wala nang grocery, walang advertisement. Naintindihan niyo po ba? Yes. Okay. So, yun lang po ang kaibahan niya. Okay? Pero, quality yung mga products po natin. Okay? So, ngayon, ang basic na tanong, eto na. Eto na yung medyo yung karne o yung meat ng presentation natin. So, paano 
nakakatulong ngayon yung aloe vera sa atin. At ito po ang kailangan ma-stress nyo. Pag nagpe-present ko ako, halos dito ako nakafocus talaga after my introduce ko yung company. Dito pinapakita ko sa inyo gano'ng kaganda yung aloe vera. Paano nakakatulong sa katawan natin? Because pag naiintindihan nila at nakita nila yung importansya ng aloe vera sa katawan nila, what happens? They buy the product. They want to try it. Okay? At pag nagustuhan nila, first thing you have to understand, kasi magta-touch po tayo ng konting, uh, konting medical na mga terms. No? At alam ko karamihan sa akin dito, hindi naman mga nurses or hindi naman mga doktor, kagaya sa akin. No? Kaya I'm also very effective in sharing this to you because naintindihan ko rin na ako hindi isang doktor. Hindi rin ako nurse. At one time, nag-seminar po ako sa Iloilo. I was already a senior manager. Pumunta po sa Iloilo, Mission Hospital. Ito pang Ilongo ba dito? Okay? Sa Mission Hospital, napunta po ako doon. And uh, dinala po ako ng, ng downline ko. And then, I did not know, pagdating ko sa conference room, I had to talk to 35 doctors. Isipin <laughs> nila nung nasa utak ko no, yung kaba ko niya, di ba? 35 doctors, iba-iba pang department. May nasa surgery, may nasa ngayon, mga OB gynecologist, may mga pediatrician, okay? So, puro mga resident doctors. Ang gagawin ko dito, siya, products and forever. Sabi ko, mga doktor yan eh, sila. So, di, nagtayo na ako dito sa araw. Alam mo, pagtayo ko pala, may nag-raise kagad ng kamay. Sir, uh, sir, ano po yung specialty niyo? <laughs> Sabi ko po, <laughs> ah, hindi po ako doktor. Ano mo sabi niya? So bakit ka magkikinig sa'yo? Ngayon, ang sasagutin niyo. Alam mo, pa para akong <laughs> aloe vera, mali yun. <laughs> para akong alamig ng aircon, pero kung pinagpapawisan ka, o okay, naranasan ko rin yun. And what happened is, naalala ko tuloy, kasi may, uh, may bayaw po ako na med med sa doktor. Pero ang galing niya magkakwento ng mga medisina. Sabi ko, di ba doc, yung mga med rep lumalapit sa inyo, nagpapapirma ng mga, tawag yan? Parang reports nila. Di ba? These medical representatives, nagsishare po sila ng mga medisina sa doctors. Correct, right? Yes. Okay, galing sa company nila. But, are these medical representatives doctors or nurses? No. Most of them not. But why do these doctors no, accept these uh, sample products and uh, sign their reports and you know listen to them? Because these med reps are trained by their company to share their synthetic medicines to these medical people. So we are also trained by our company to share natural products to people. So wala pong pinagkaiba yung med rep sa iyo at yung produkto ko sa iyo. Kaya sabi niya, ah, okay, sige, tuloy. <laughs> so, tuloy po. And uh, sa awa naman ng Diyos, after my presentation, actually, they were not excited more of the products. Alam mo saan sila na-excite? Sa negosyo. <laughs> kasi nalaman ko, liliit lang pala ng mga, <laughs> yung mga, kasi resident doctors po lang. At that time, they were only paid about 5,000 pesos per month. 5,000 pesos. Kasi 6,000, na think, 5,000. Kasi government, Babae sa akin. And during that time, I was already making 100,000 per month. That's why 24 of them bought the 2CC. Okay? <laughs> Yung po naging advantage. No? Okay? Now, anyway, I'm talking about it. Kasi medyo na-ikwento ko lang. No? Now, two of the most important part of your body. Ito, medyo konting anatomy na tayo, ha? Dalawa sa pinaka-importante parte sa katawan natin. Ano po yun? Number one, digestive system. Ito po yun. Number two, your blood circulation. Tandaan nyo po yun. Ha? Ano po yung blood circulation? Nakikita nyo ba lahat ng mga ugat nyo dyan? Eh, ano bang nasa loob niya? Dugo. Lahat po ng pinagdadalo niya ng dugo, yun po yung uh, blood circulation mo. Okay? Those two systems are very, very important. I have been attending a lot of uh, training, some of them by doctors themselves, and some of them by nutritionists. Sabi sa amin, kailangan yung dalawang sistema na yan, walang bara. Naintindihan niyo po ba? There should be no blockage in any of those two systems. Why? Because oras, as soon as you experience some blockages in your digestive system, 
or in your blood circulation, then you will have a health problem. Okay? And that is when people end up in the operating room of the surgeons being opened up. Kasi bakit bubuksan sila? Dahil may nagpapara. Kailangan kunin o kailangan ayusin. Okay? So, ang trabaho natin, hindi naman tayo doktor. And we do not clash with them. Huwag po kayo makipag-away sa mga doktor. We need them. Okay? And uh, they are very important part of our uh, system, our society, especially on emergency cases. Ang trabaho po natin is only to educate people on the benefits of aloe vera and our natural products. Yun lang pong highlight mo. Okay? And I always remind my leaders that we do not win in any argument. I have a lot of doctor friends in Cebu and uh, some of them are using my products. Some of them until now are still not using the products. Pero magkaibigan pa rin kami. Okay? And uh, yun yung at least we respect, respect, we have respect for each other because hindi ko naman sila kinakala. Okay? So from time to time, I consult them. From time to time, if they need supplements, they also consult me. Okay? And uh, now I have read a, 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 a what do you call this? A, a journal coming from one uh, doctor saying that the nutritionists of today might become the doctors of the future. Okay? Because the whole world is now trying to realize the benefits of nature. So, napakalaking advantage po kayo if you know this. And that's one of the reasons why I became successful in my international markets because now I have seen when I first uh, what introduced aloe vera to my friend in the US, in downline ko po, si Tito and Gigi Apostol, eh sila po, si Tito is a cardiac ultrasound technician. And he has been doing that job for many, many years. Eh ako, wala naman akong background. So, nung unang nagkita kami, pinagtatawanan niya ako sa ginagawa namin alubin. As in, totally sarado. Ten years after, he realized what I was doing was good. nag enjoy kami sa buhay ng misis ko. Our lifestyle changed. Now, he joined me five years ago. And last month, December, he decided to go full-time in Forever Living. Okay? And he received his profit sharing just last week. Ang nakuha niya, ang profit sharing po niya was $20,000. Wow. Ang monthly check po niya ngayon, nag-average sa po siya ng nearly $10,000 a month. He is now a soaring manager. Okay? So, yung downline din po niya, not profit sharing din po. Ang nakuha was almost $9,000. So, I now have two profit sharing managers in the U.S. My network in Calgary, in Canada, nurse po itong mag-asawa. So, isipin mo, ako hindi isang nurse. Pero sino po yung mga leaders ko? Mga nasa medical. Okay? Yung downline ko sa Canada is also both nurses. Okay? They joined forever. 15 years ago, became assistant manager and forgot about forever because they practiced their nursing career in Ireland nine years. Then they transferred to Canada. Worked for a few more years. Then, nagkasakit po ng cardiovascular, high blood, arthritis, <laughs> gout, at naalala niya huli. With all the medicines he was taking and he, he was not feeling good, he realized, he remembered forever, so he was looking for his upline, but his upline was not active anymore. Okay? So, magkaibigan naman kami, he he, he came across my my uh, site, inab niya ito, nag-usap kami, then sabi niya sa akin, kung pwede ba ako mag-guide sa kanya, sabi ko, why not? Okay, so he was responsor, he joined from AM, assistant manager, he went back to New District. But in four months, he became manager. Wala pa ako doon, hindi pa ako nakakarating doon, nag-manager na siya. Okay, paano namin, paano ko siya natutukan, Alam mo, yung meron, meron po akong YouTube na video, na presentation. He listened to that YouTube presentation, I believe, for about 30 times. 
halos matutulog na lang yan sa kapagpanunong. He learned about it. We were talking over the phone. He started doing presentations again. May konting experience na siya. And in four months time, he developed a lot of customers, mostly nurses, who also became full-time doing forever. Okay? So, yun po. Ipapakita ko lang po sa inyo. No? Although I'm not a, I'm not a nurse, but how, how come that I am effective enough to share this, uh, this topics to the medical people? And to be honest with you, my elder sister is also a doctor. She mismo nagsabi sa akin that in their whole medical course, they only have one chapter devoted to vitamins and minerals. So my point is, wag po kayong matakot magkwento ng aloe vera sa mga medical people. For all you know, mas marami po kayong alam kaysa sa kanila. When it comes to aloe vera, wag ka lang lilihis ng topic. <laughs> Pag lumihis ka, lagot ka. <laughs> Talagang papaluin ka talaga. Okay, so, ano po yung dalawang pinaka-importanting party sa katawan natin? Yes, Okay. <laughs> okay, so, konti explanation lang. Alam ko, uh, matututo, matututo rin kayo. Pag kumakain po tayo, we chew our food with our? Teeth. Teeth, of course, no? Then, pag uh, habang nag-chew-chew tayo, it mixes with our saliva, and the food goes down through our esophagus, okay? And then, it goes to down to the stomach. Now, remember, our stomach, wala pong ngipin yan. Kaya pag magilis pa kayong kumain, ilulunok nyo po yung karne, ang nangyayari, you develop a digestion problem. Simply because your stomach is having a hard time breaking it down. Ang purpose po ng digestive system natin, para paliitin, paliitin po yung kinakain natin at para pagdating po ng pagkain dito sa maliit na bituka. Kasi after the stomach will release acid, mag-release po ng acid yun. Kaya pag walang laman yung tiyan mo at magre-release ng acid, ano mangyari? Okay, nagkaka-develop tayo ng mga gastric problem. Di ba? Hyperacidity, acid reflux, all those things. No? So, importante, kailangan may laman palagi yung tiyan natin. Lalo na kung nagtatrabaho tayo at paminsan eh, mag-overtime. Okay? At hindi nakakakain ng tama, mamaya ng kain, trabaho muna ako, eh palaging ganyan. Darating pa nung naging acidic po yung katawan natin. Okay? So, that's why you have to, kung wala kang pagkain, if you have a supplement, like bee pollen, like the aloe vera, it's best to drink that to remedy the time na hindi ka pa kumakain. No? So, now, when it, when the food reaches the small intestines, now, yung small intestine po natin, gano'n po kahaba yan? 23 feet. Okay? Mula dito, siguro hanggang sa entrada, no? So, gano'n po kahaba yung small intestines natin, pero naka-ikot-ikot naka, ikot ikot po yan dyan sa loob, no? At gano'n po kalaki yung diameter niya, yung butas niya, yung thumb nyo po. Ito yung thumb natin, yung diameter niya, yun po ang diameter ng small intestines. Maliit lang po yan. So, yung karne na malaki, paano yan papasok nun? <laughs> Kung hindi mo, ichu-chu na mo. So, naintindihan niyo po ba? Okay, ngayon, ano yung trabaho ng maliit na bituka? Ang maliit na bituka, the small intestines, the function of which is to absorb or get the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals from the food that we eat. So, ano ba yung purpose ng pagkain? Ang purpose ng pagkain, hindi po para mabusog. Ang purpose po ng pagkain, para magbigay po ng sustansya sa katawan natin. Kasi yung sustansya, the vitamins that these small intestines get, they go to the bloodstream. Pumunta po yan sa bloodstream natin. And our heart will pump the blood all throughout the body, from head to toe. Kaya, pag kayo mabilis butumin, or pag kayo mabilis manghina, ang ibig sabihin yan is kulang ka ng sustansya sa dugo. Okay? Naintindihan nyo? If you easily get hungry or if you easily, if you're tired or when you are hungry, it simply means you lack nutrients in your blood. And it tells your brain that you have to eat. The problem is, anong kakainin mo? What is available are the junk food, fast food, instant food, processed food. So what happens, no? So, yun ang pumupunta rin sa katawan natin. Now, the excess goes to the colon, the large intestine. 
Okay? Now, itong large intestine or the colon, ito po yung ascending colon natin, transverse colon, descending colon, rectum, anus. Ano yung trabaho nila? They extract the water from the food. Okay? Yung small intestines, yung sustansya, dito yung tubig, or kung kailangan pang may naiwan pa, in-extract nila yon. So, the the remains, ang naiiwan dyan, yung po yung hepa, yung pupo, yung tae. Okay? It's a dry fecal matter, so it has, it has nothing to do there. It should readily be excreted outside your system. This is just an acid-based experiment. Okay? Ang tubig po ay neutral. Ano po ibig sabihin ng neutral? pH balance. Have you heard about pH balance products? Yes. Pag sinabi mong pH balance, it is not alkaline or base. It is not acidic. Neutral siya. Parang tubig, hindi po siya nakaka- damage or sira ng skin or ng mga organs natin. So, neutral. Parang tubig. Safe. Okay? 7 to 7.5 ang pH niya. Yung, yung bilang niya. Okay? Now, yung mga chemicals po, kagaya nitong beta-9, this is more acidic. Okay? Acid po siya. Yung, yung pH niya. Okay? Acidic. So, pag minalagyan natin yung tubig ng beta-9, what happens? The water becomes acidic. Tama po ba? Nakukuha nyo? Nasusubay pa yan nyo, no? So, ano yung relasyon ngayon with this water and betadine to our body? Ang relasyon niya, kasi 70% of our body is what? Water. Tubig. At pag kumakain po tayo ng mga junk food, Di ba yung mga junk food? May mga MSG, may mga yellow number 5, may mga ingredients dyan na hindi mo naiintindihan sa ang lupalot ng mundo lumalabas. Okay? Pero nakikita mo yan dyan. So there are chemicals in some of the foods that we eat. So what happens? These foods that we eat, since we were small, they accumulate in our body. So habang tumatagal, it makes our body acidic. And why is it not good? Because if your body is acidic, take note, virus, fungus, and bacteria, they thrive in an acidic environment. Kaya mas nahihirapan yung katawan natin mag-recover because marami kang yung acidotic ka. Naintindihan mo ba? Okay? That's why drinking water compared to soft drinks is better. Yung iba, iinom ng isang litro ng Coke, isang araw lang yun, every day. So don't be surprised when you grow older, your kidneys might back down. Okay? So marami po kayong dunay. So this is, the, this is the demo. When we, sinasabi ko, when we were small, we started eating all this lollipop, di ba? Candies, but you are still young. Your organs are still strong, so your body just tends to absorb all these toxins. That's why the water is still clear. Kaya yung bata, even if kumain niya ng donut or ng burger every day, ang lusog pa rin at ang energy level niya is still high. But, ituloy-tuloy mo yan. Tingnan natin resulta. As you keep on eating all these candies, chocolates, and all these... Uh, junk foods, later on soft drinks, habang tumatanda, alcohol na, adobo, lechon, hamburger, pizza, okay? So what happens? Hato, uh, bacon, sino, kangos, okay? Habang tumatagal, nag-accumulate po yung katawan natin ng mga chemicals na yan. Okay? Depende po sa tao. At darating yung panahon, the symptoms will come out. Lumalabos po yung mga aray-aray sa katawan natin. And believe me, that is the only time most people will have themselves checked in a medical doctor. Correct? Because if you go to a medical doctor, wala ka niraramdam, baka sabihan ka, you're just wasting your time. Okay? Kasi totoo nga, wala ka namang niraramdam. People who go to doctors, may niraramdam na. Kaya nga nagpapunod ko. So, ano yung trabaho natin? We educate them on how not to reach this level. Yun po ang trabaho natin. So we are more of an educator okay, in natural health. Okay, so when people drink aloe vera, ang aloe vera, ano ba to? Gulay, tama? Now, vegetables and fruits, they are more inclined to the alkaline level. 
So, ang opposite ng acid ay base or alkaline. So, when you put aloe vera, pag maglalagay po kayo ng aloe vera sa betadine na yan, it is just like a nutritionist telling you that you have to eat 5 to 9 servings of fruits and 5 to 9 servings of vegetables per day para po sa katawan natin yun. So, kaya, pag nilalagay natin dito, lagyan ko lang ng konting drop, no? Uh, may nangyayari ba? Wala nangyayari. Kasi yung iba, nagtitipid ng hindi tama. Okay? Bibili ng isang bote, uubusin ito dalawang buwan. <laughs> Paano iniino? Kaya eh, nakita ko kasi sa demo, isang cup lang eh. Kaya pagdating sa bahay na lang, isang cup na eh, nang ino. Okay? Kaya after one week, babalik sa, sa amin at sasabihin, ako sinubukan ko yung aloe vera, nothing happened. It's because hindi nila sinunod yung tamang indikasyon. So isipin mo lang, if this is your body and you are always drinking aloe vera okay, constantly, it will slowly neutralize the acid first in your body. Okay? So nanu-neutralize niya, kaya pumuputi po siya. Okay? Now, hindi po yan magic. Okay? So, ang nakikita nyo po dyan, yun po yung gel. Yung gel na aloe vera. So, ano po yung relevance niyan sa katawan natin? So, when we drink aloe vera, it neutralizes the acid and it cleanses your digestive system. Kaya nakakatulong itong aloe vera sa digestive system natin. So, yung mga tao dito na constipated, aloe vera is best for them. Yung mga tao dito na may mga acid, uh, gastric problem, mga, ga mga gastroarthritis or ulcers or worse na yung ulcer, yung mga gastritis, no? Or mga indigestion problems, aloe vera is good for them. Naintindihan na po ba? Yes. Okay, so aloe vera is more for the metabolism. Para linisin yung bituka mo, so that your body can absorb nutrients properly. Okay? That's the first function. And minerals in the blood energy. Yung iba ayaw inom ng aloe vera. Pero iinom ng mga, ano, mga nature made, forever kids, uh, itong lahat. Pero ayaw inom nito. Kung ako tatanungin ko, mas, mas maganda to, uminom ako nito, and less of this. Kung medyo short talaga sa but. I'd rather drink that because it gives us a lot of benefits compared to just drinking this. Meron ako, I have a Vietnamese uh, customer in the US. Sabi niya sa akin, Chris, I, have, I am taking nine of those supplements. But I still have the same problem. Ang tanong ko sa kanya, how much aloe vera are you drinking? She told me, Oh, I don't like that taste. Sabi sa kanya, that is the problem. Sa ang advice sa kanya, drink aloe vera half glass twice or three times per day for the next two weeks. And then, here's my number, call me again and tell me how you feel. After two weeks, tumawag na siya, sabi sa akin, I feel a lot, lot better. Okay? So, Dahil sa aloe vera. Pinagandal lang yung digestive system niya. Ngayon, yung siyam na supplement tinitake niya, mas na-absorb sa katawan, pumapasok sa tubo at nagiging energy. Do you follow? Yes. That's why vitamins and nutri uh, nutrients that goes to the bloodstream equals energy. Now, ano pang meron sa tubo? Di ba? Pinag-usapan natin. Vitamins, minerals, oxygen, antibodies. Ano po yung antibodies? White blood cells. Ano po yung white blood cells? sila po ang kumakain sa mga hindi kagaya nila. So, kung may mga pumapasok na mga infection, ano ba yung infection na yan? Virus, fungus, bacteria. So, pag pumapasok po yan sa katawan natin, pupunta po yan sa dugo. Mag-create po ng damage. Kaya, nagkakaroon tayo na lagna. Okay? Pag yung tao nagkakalagna, ibig sabihin, if you have a fever, that simply means you have an infection. But you still do not know if it is viral, fungal, or bacterial. That's why every time a, a child of mine or kami medyo nakakaroon ng fever, 
Ang unang dinodoble namin is si aloe vera. Okay? Aloe vera kagad. We drink that in almost in mega doses. Mega doses meaning every, almost every six hours we drink half glass or maybe a glass. Because our body needs support. Because aloe vera, these are trachinons. Anong ginagawa niya? They will trigger our thymus gland to release a lot of antibodies or white blood cells in our bloodstream. So if you have a lot of these foot soldiers, marami kang sundalo, marami kang lumalaban para sa'yo. So when you have fever, yung fever mo after 2, 3, or 4 days, nawawala na. And you don't develop, it doesn't develop into dengue. It doesn't develop into whatever dreaded diseases. Maintindihan niyo po ba yun? Yung importance. So, kaya sa aloe vera pa lang, kaya halos lahat ng kailangan mo sa katawan mo, natutulungan siya. Okay? And that's why you have to master that. Kaya that's why aloe vera is a powerful antibacterial, antifungal, and it has virucidal properties. Okay? Sa loob at sa labas. Kaya pag medyo may mga skin diseases, ngayon, maintindihan nyo na, now you understand why the aloe vera jelly and the propolis cream works well in people who have skin problems. Okay? Because of that, it has a antifungal property. Okay? So, do you understand? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Are you hungry? Yes. Oh, hungry na. <laughs> okay, and last but not the least, aloe vera is a very good source for prevention. Okay? So, ang trabaho ng aloe vera, aloe vera will just help your body make your organs function normally by cleansing the toxins, by giving you proper nutrients, by strengthening your immune system. Now, who does the healing? It is our body that does the healing. Not sometimes they have a poor circulation. Do you follow? Okay, so yun po ang ang aloe vera. So, isang product pa lang yun. Halos isang oras na higit pinag-usapan natin. But believe me, after this training, when you go out there, you will already be MD. Medyo doktor. Okay? So, habang tumatagal ang mga kaibigan nyo, magsasabi sa inyo, dami mo nang alam, nag-aral ka ba ng nursing? Nag-aral ka ba ng pagka-doktor? So, ako na, natuturin ako nito because I also talk with them. I also know what they do. Kaya, at saka experience, 15 years ago, hindi po ako ganito magsalita. Ako po isang distributor. Ang number one ko po na ginagawa, BOM. Sa marketing. Diyan ako magaling. But the last six years, I have changed my strategy. And now I believe it has worked well for me. Okay? And hindi na, hindi na, hindi kasi bilis ng growth ko when I started. But, it is very stable. At yan ang gusto ko mangyari sa business natin. Kailangan ang business natin forever business. Hindi one-time business. Karamihan kasi sa atin, gusto kumita one-time lang. Next month, problema na naman. Okay? So dapat, nag-umpisa ka, nag-develop palaki ng palaki ang business mo. And I developed that through building a network of people using the products. At saka happy sila sa ginagamit nila. Okay? Now, kaya, papano minum ng aloe vera? How do you drink aloe vera? One glass per day. Or half glass twice a day. Okay? Huwag naman yung one four, four times a day. Okay? Mas maganda yung medyo mas maraming iniinom mo. Actually, that is just a recommended uh, dose by the company. You can actually drink more. The more aloe vera you drink, the faster the cleansing process. Especially, pag may problema, ang advice ko sa nila, the first month, they have to strictly follow drinking the aloe vera. Halos ang pinapa-order ko on the first month is at least six bottles. It was in like one month. That is one bottle every five days. One bottle every five days. Nakikita ng iba yung mukha nila. Diba? Sa lasa pa lang, parang... Diba? Yung iba habang umiinom ng aloe vera. Diba? O sige, anong gusto mo? Dahil sa lasa, ayaw mo uminom. Pero, next month, kooperahan ka. Ang gastos mo ilang milyon. And the bad news is, after your operation, you are not the same anymore. What if you will be sitting on the wheelchair? 
Eh, you cannot walk anymore. Diba? So, yan ang, yan ang ilagay mo sa isipan mo. I'm sure all of us here are healthy. Kaya we do not think about those morbid ideas. But, what if it happens to you? Okay? Don't wait, ladies and gentlemen. I've been here 15 years. I have seen a lot of distributors come and go. I have also experienced a lot of customers. Thousands. Some of them... Uh, uh, drinking aloe vera and at good results, others they don't like to drink because of the taste, but they have suffered, some of them have died. Namatay, ayaw nila. Dahil sa lasa, ayaw nila, pero gusto sila namatay. Namatay. Tapos after all the medical interventions, at uh, sinabihan sila ng doktor, give up na sila, tsaka nababalik sa purebe. Ano pera na yan? Sabi ko, you are on a terminal stage. And I tell you, I cannot promise you anything. Because ang trabaho ng aloe vera is not on the treatment side. Okay? Ang trabaho nito is on the preventive side. So kayong lahat na nandito, wala pa naman kayong sakit. Do not wait na makakaproblema kayo at saka lang iinom ng aloe vera. Because it might be too late for all of you. Okay? So remember, it is always on prevention. Now, when is the best time to drink aloe vera? With an empty stomach. Walang laman yung chan. Okay? Walang laman yung chan. Okay? So, this is as far as metabolism is concerned. Now, the second product I share, Arctic Sea. My wife has been pregnant for nine, nine times. And the last six times she was pregnant, she always drank Arctic Sea. What did we notice? <clears throat> My first three children, ang eyesight nila apektado because my wife medyo poor ang eyesight niya. Pero during the time my wife was taking fish oil on my fourth, okay, yung lalaki ko hanggang sa ninth child, okay, they are not wearing glasses. Yung mata nila medyo maganda yung eyesight nila, vision. I know I attributed that to this one, the omega-9, the olive oil. Okay? So, now, omega-3, this is fish oil. So, pag nakita mo omega-3, oil po ng isda yan. Saan po ang klaseng oil? Kasi lahat po ng isda may oil po yan. Diba? Pag inihiwa mo, may oil po yan. Now, hindi po basta-basta ordinaryo na isda. Isda po, ang oil ng isda galing po sa Arctic. Saan po ang Arctic? Galing sa North Pole. Malamig po ang lugar doon. Yung mga isda doon, gumagala, pero hindi sila tumitiga sa freezing temperature of the Arctic zone. That means ang oil nila is more potent than the oil ng isda sa Pacific at sa warm water fishes. Naintindihan niyo ba? Kaya mas potent ang fish oil natin dito ikumpara mo sa ordinaryo ng mga isda. Kasi sabi nila kumahin ka ng isda kasi maganda daw sa iyo yan. Totoo ang isda maganda para sa atin. Pero pag pinalito mo ang isda mo, ang masama doon hindi yung isda, yung oil na ginagamit mo. Okay? Kasi ang oil, pag ininit mo na, nag-oxidize, naging rancid, at yun po ang nagiging sebo. Kaya yung iba sasabihin sa akin, eh halos gulay lang kinakain ko kasi tapsoy everyday. Okay? Pero sabi ko, walang problema sa gulay kinakain mo. Ang problema sa oil na hinahalo mo dyan. That is also the reason why French fries is a no-no in my family. French fries, bawal talaga yun. Pag gumagayin kami ng mga fast food, mag-order na lang sila ng manok, ng burger, bawal ang dalawa. Soft drinks and French fries. Bakit French fries? Masama. Yung patatas, natural po yun. Na uh, root crab, right? So, it is natural. Pero ang oil na dinidip sa French fries, Kung McDonald's o Jollibee pinag-usapan, at least five days po yan bago nila pinapalitan. So we are talking about an oil that has been there for five days, boiling several hours a day. That is very rancid. Okay? At paglagay ng french fries, parang sponga yan. Ia-absorb lahat ng oil. Kaya crispy. <laughs> Okay, lalaking pa ng buong asin. Kaya malasa. <laughs> eh, pag ninuya mo ngayon sa loob, nabas ngayon lahat ng oil. Papasok ngayon sa dugo. What happens? This is what happens. This is your normal bloodstream. As you grow older, nagkakaroon ng konting taba. Yung, yung cooking oil, pag niluto na yan, at 
ipa ipa lamig mo ano nangyari sa pagmumol? Nagsisiyo po yan. So, papasok yan sa bloodstream at habang dumadami ang sebo, lumiliit po ang daanan ng dugo natin. Our arteries becomes narrowed down. At dahil nagnanarrow down siya, what happens? You develop cardiovascular problem we call hyper or high blood pressure. Okay? Ngayon, ang problema, pag maliit ng daanan ng dugo, Okay? Pag may biglang blood clot na dumaan dito, what happened? If dito mag-clot sa ulo, stroke. You just, some people just drop dead. Okay? Pag dito magbara sa heart mo, you call that heart failure. Pag mag-rapture siya, arteriosclerosis, blood vessel damage. Eh, dahil sa mga, yung, kasi nag-circulate ang ibu, yung pump mo, yung heart mo, nagpa-pump niya, 100,000 times per day. Eh, maliit ng dahan na, kaya makikita ang presyo. Now, kidney, dahil nagbabara siya, dahil sa dami ng soft drinks na ininom mo, kaya barado rin ito, kaya habang tumatagal, hindi na nagpa-function ng kidney, some people, they go to dialysis. Well, if you can afford to pay 2,500 three times a week and four times a month, compute mo lang yan. If you have the money, go ahead. But for the rest of your life, you will be in dialysis. Ano ba yung dialysis? Sinisip-sip po lahat ng dugo mo. Papasok po yan sa reverse osmosis. Pinifilter po. Pinatanggal po lahat ng dumi na nasa dugo. Kasi yung kidney mo, yun po ang function. Tapos binabalik uli doon sa katawan mo. Para naging malinis uli ang dugo. So, three times a week po kayo maglilinis for the rest of your life. Yung iba, sa dami ng tusok ng dagong dito, wala nang may tusok. <laughs> Ang iitim na ng mga kamay nila dito. I have a downline who has plenty of time. I will explain na sa akin. So, buti na lang ay merong aloe vera. Sabi niya, among all the people there sa clinic nila na nagka-dialysis, siya daw yung pink yung mukha. Karamihang pale. Siya daw yung healthy. Dahil may, may katulong siya. Okay? So, ngayon, high blood pressure, it doesn't necessarily mean, pag mataas po ang BP nyo, ang ibig sabihin niya, hindi po ibig sabihin na mataas ang cholesterol mo. Remember, when you have high blood, pag may blood pressure yan, o mataas ang blood pressure, ito tandaan nyo, there are fa about five reasons why mataas ang blood pressure. Number one, posible, mataas ang cholesterol niya. Pag mataas ang cholesterol, makipot ang daan ng dugo, kaya mataas ang presyo. Number two, kung uh, diabetic ang tao. Pag diabetic ang tao, lalo na kung medyo grabe na yung sugar sa loob ng dugo, malapot ang dugo, ang hirap ng circulation, kaya akyat ang blood pressure. Worst scenario is nagagangrene, pinuputo. Another worst scenario, yung mga maliliit na ugat sa mata, Dahil sa presyo, pumuputok yung dugo, pupunta sa likod ng retina ng mata, nagiging blurred yung vision nila, nabubula. Okay? That is medyo worst cases of type 2 diabetes. Now, another scenario, when you are overweight or big. Pag mataba po kayo, yung mga tabahan nyo, paminsan naiipit po yung mga ugat-ugat na yan. Sa fats, pag naiipit siya, it can also cause high blood pressure. Do you follow? Yes. Okay, so the older we become, the leaner you should be. Okay? Now, four. Stress. Pag stress na ako po kayo, yung blood vessels natin tend to constrict. Okay? Now, five. Pollution, smoking, alcohol. Alcohol and smoking will also help worse constrict your blood vessels. Ang pangit dyan, pag all the above, meron ka. Okay? So, yun ang kailangan i-analyze mo. Pag may nakita ka, kung pass pang blood pressure mo, meron ka bang laboratory na uh, test, kumusta po yung cholesterol mo? Mata, wala na ko ng cholesterol problem ko. Nakita mo siya, mata pa. Kaya madalas, alam mo bakit patas ang blood pressure mo. Okay? O paminsan naman, may diabetes siya. Kaya mo, bro, diabetic yun. Okay, so, malalaman mo kung bakit atas mo. So, these are the most common reasons why people have high blood pressure. So, ano naman ang tulong ng 
Arctic Sea sa cardiovascular uh, uh, problem natin. Aabot po siya sa dugo. Kasi yung iba, nakikita itong demo na to, kaya mag-fish oil lang sila. At hindi na iinom ng gel. At nagtataka, bakit yung cholesterol nila o yung high blood nila, ganun pa rin. Okay? So, uminom ka ng gel, tapos uminom ka ng Arctic Sea. Okay? Para mas yung Arctic Sea dumating sa dugo, which is represented by the water here, and it will slowly break down these cholesterol deposits so that you will have better blood circulation. Okay? So what happens now, habang tumatagal dito, okay, dahan-dahan yung binibreak down. Ah, hindi po to overnight. How much fish oil you should be drinking? You have to take omega-3 or Arctic Sea, one soft gel per meal. Hindi once a day, ha? Okay? Bakit? Kasi halos lahat po ng pagkain natin, niluluto po natin sa oil. Nakikita niyo, pupunta po kayo sa grocery. Anong nakikita niyo doon? No cholesterol. Di ba cooking oil? No cholesterol. Totoo po yun. No cholesterol. Pero, hindi nakalagay doon, if you do not cook it. <laughs> ang olive oil. Marami kong magamit ang olive oil. Pero dito, ang olive oil, niluluto pa rin. Kaya ganun pa rin ang mangyayari. Mahal pa. If you go to Europe, I, I went to Greece, Turkey, olive oil dito, cook it. The, the virgin olive oil, they mix it with their salad. They mix it with their pasta. They mix it with their food. So, kaya, nagbe-benefit siya direct. So, sa dugo. Naintindihan niyo ba? Eh, tayo dito eh. Isda ang ginagay. Pinirito pa rin. French fries, pinirito. Saging na nga, piprituhin pa rin. Kaya, ang problema, hindi yung karni. Ang problema yung oil, mantika na piniprito natin. That's why you need to drink a lot of this fish oil so that it can break down this cholesterol deposits in your arteries. Okay? Kaya nagiging effective yung fish oil na iniinom mo, lalo na pag sinasamahan mo ng aloe vera gel. Okay? So, third, eto, nutrition naman pag-usapan natin, energy. Okay? Sabihin natin, umiinom ka ng aloe vera gel, umiinom ka ng arctic sea, ay active ka at nage-exercise ka. Ngayon, puso na ngayon ang, uh, ano yan? Uh, marathon running, no? So, this is the product that is best for that. Kung meron yung ibang kumpanya, meron silang vitamin, multivitamins at multiminerals, vitamin A to Z, meron rin tayong dipolen lang ang katapat natin dyan. Bakit dipolen? The pollen is nature's most perfect food. Kompleto po yan sa lahat ng sustansya na kailangan ng tao para mabuhay po tayo. We're talking about vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. The good fats, ayun, omega-3, omega-6, omega-9. So, meron siyang plant source fatty acid. Now, bakit itong the pollen, eh, nagkaroon siya ng kompletong sustansya? Kasi itong dipolen, ano ba ito? Ito, ito ay, it, ang dipolen, it is collected by the worker bee. Ano yung worker bee? Ito yung bees na gumagala, it is hopping from one flower to another, collecting nectar para gawin nila honey. Now, yung pollen na nasa kulaklak, dumilikit sa legs nila. The hind legs, the pollen sticks to the hind legs. Pag nagilipad sila, some of the pollen are sprinkled on the other plants. It causes pollination. Kaya namumulaklak, kaya nagpuputas. Okay? Tayo, yung mga plantation dito, karamihan, artificial yung pamulaklak nila. Pero yung bees, ang actually, ang original na nagpapabulaklak at nagpapa uh, dami na prutas. No? So, ngayon, dahil kinokulek nila, pagdating sa bahay nila, sa hive nila, dinadust off nila yon, Tapos kinokulekta ng forever living. And just to give you an example, ito po yung mga pollen na kinokulekta ng mga bees. Okay? Nakikita niyo po yan, mga, mga maliliit po ng mga granules niya. And remember, it is a collection of pollen from thousands of flowers. 
Okay? Within the 12 miles radius kung saan yung bahay nila. 12 miles radius. No? So, dahil collection siya na napaka, lahat ng tanin na may, may, may bulak na. So, isipin mo lang yung sustansya na nandyan sa bawat pollen na yan. Pinagsama-sama. That's why it has complete vitamins, C, D, E, K, plus A, plus B complex, B1, B2, B3, B6, B12. It has minerals, may enzyme siya, coenzymes pa, okay, may plant source fatty acids, may carbohydrates, may proteins, 22 amino acids, including all eight essential ones. So, B pollen versus aloe vera gel, sa mas maraming sustansya? B pollen. Ang advantage ng aloe vera is the saponins, the cleansing ability, and the immune system. We are what we eat. Naintindihan mo ko ba? Sinubukan ko yan, tinanggal ko yung tinapay sa buhay ko for one year, and I reduced weight considerably. Ang laking tulong sa akin yun. When I start, I, I tried not eating any kind of uh, bread, flour, for one year. Ang laki pong tulong sa akin. Tapos uminom ako ng aloe vera. Ang bilis po na, na metabolism, you become more ener energized, mas maganda po yung takbo ng katawan. Okay? Hindi po na, gawa-gawa ko lang po yun. I have learned this from Dr. Heyman, okay? sa, sa training niya doon sa, sa US. Okay? So, kaya, bee pollen is an energy food. So, ito pong nire-recommend natin, basta energy ang kailangan natin. Okay? So, pang, na, na, pang apat na produkto, ito pag-usapan naman natin yung joints. Okay? Sino ba dito may mga joint problem? Yung mga may mga aray-aray na sa tuhod, sa hips, dahil sa, ka, sa kasasayaw ng salsa at saka ng zumba. Okay? Yung mga may sakit sa shoulders, sa elbows. Okay? So, ito po yung freedom na katulong po sa inyo. Okay? Now, specifically, ang uh, ang tinutukoy natin is osteoarthritis, no? Now, osteo sa medical term is called uh, bone o yan. Buto. Pag nakikita niyo itong itis, di ba? Mga bursitis, mga tendonitis, mga osteoarthritis. Ano po ibig sabihin ng itis na yan? Inflammation po yan. Na mga maga. Okay? Bakit po namamaga dito sa case na to? Ito ay kikwento ko sa inyo. Ito po yung normal natin na tuhod. Ha? Ito, anatomy na naman tayo. Di ba? MD naman po ako ngayon. MD, medyo doktor. So, ito po yung uh, thigh bone natin. Yung main buto natin dito. Ito po yung shin bone natin. Pababa. Now, ito po yung patella. Parang heart shape na bone dyan. Parang, parang heart uh, bilog yan dyan sa tuhod. Now, nakita nyo po itong puti na parte na to. At saka sa baba, yun po yung cartilage or tawag yan, lipid kung sa bisaya. Ligam, hindi, hindi, cartilage yan. Hindi po yung ligaments, okay? Cartilage po yan, okay? Pag kumakain kayo ng fried chicken at naubos na yung karne, di ba meron pa yung parang goma na yan na puti sa dulo ng buto? Na uh, inumuyan mo yan natin, okay? Parang hirap tanggalin sa dulo ng buto. Yun po yung cartilage. Ano po yung trabaho? What's the function of the cartilage? The cartilage function as a cushion. Cushion. So, buto na to, yung dulo niya, cartilage, para hindi po nag-friction. Bakit po? Oras na magkaroon ng friction, itong dalawang buto na yan, nagkakaroon tayo ng pain. So, if you have joint pain, ibig sabihin niya, may parte ng mga buto mo na tumihikit. Na, dahil sa constant friction niya, ano nangyayari? Yung mga surrounding tissues na susuka at yung tubig, which is 70% of our body, pumapasok po yan dyan, kaya namamaga. Okay? Kaya ang tawag po niyan is osteoarthritis. Okay? Iba po yung rheumatoid arthritis. Iba rin po yung gouty arthritis, ang gaya sa gout. Eh, iba naman po yun. Yung rheumatoid arthritis, nakita mo yung mga nag-deform na talaga. Yun, iba naman yun. Okay? Auto-immune yun. Hinaatake niya yung sarili niyang uh, katawan. Eh, kaya ang hirap po. Ang tulong ng aloe vera ng freedom dito, number one, the forever freedom has 
uh, aloe vera gel, stabilized aloe vera gel, and it is married. Pinagsama rin yung glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. Now, ano ba itong glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate? Yun po ay galing po sa cartilage. Cartilage rin po yun ng shellfish, ng shells of crabs, of shrimps. Okay? Hindi po yung karne ng, ng uh, alimango. Okay? Or ng uh, pasayan or ng uh, sugpo. Okay? Yun po ang cartilage nila. Yung uh, shell nila, yung gitna, cartilage yun. Yun po ang uh, sinama dito. At anong ginagawa niyan sa katawan natin? Tinutulungan yung buto natin na magkaroon uli ng fusion. That's why when people drink the forever freedom, the next few days, depende sa damage, no? Karamihan, dahan-dahan yung pain na wawala. Because we are correcting the situation from the very source. Ang iba kasi, pag nagkakaroon ng joint pain, of course, pupunta sa doktor. Iko-confirm po nga, may osteoarthritis sila. Ngayon, dalawa po ang remedy dito. Kung nasa medical din aside. Ang una, kung may pera po kayo, ay eh, total ni replacement. Papalitan po yan ng mamahaling bakal, platinum. Kung may milyones kayo, okay lang. But what if you don't have the money? So karamihan ng tao, they just go with the pain medication. Bibigyan tayo ng gamot para ma hindi natin ma-feel ang pain. So ito po nangyayari. You take a pain medication, you feel good. You don't feel the pain. So naglalakad ka pa rin, you're constantly walking. Question, does the damage in your knees are cured? Or tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya nagdapigay damage? Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yan. So later on, tataas yung pain mo uli, yung medicine mo is no longer enough to 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 stop the pain. That's why balik ko sa doktor mo, probably, oh, bigyan ka ng mas malakas, a stronger dose for your pain medication. So, what happens? You take that stronger dose, you feel good again, and then you continue walking, and then after maybe a few months, pabalik ka na uli, and time will come, they will give you maybe antibiotics already, maybe steroids, and remember, everything that goes into the blood is also filtered by your liver, so time will come, maybe one, two years after, what happens is you develop liver problems, so they will give you another medication for your liver. And the side effect might go to your kidney, then they will give you another medication for your kidney. Okay? Then when you have kidney problems, another medical when it has side effect to your heart, another medication for your heart until they give you a certificate. <laughs> okay, cardiac arrest. <laughs> ano ibig sabihin po niya? Komplikasyon. Okay? And, uh, believe me, there is no such disease as complication. But there is such a disease as osteoarthritis. So, sometimes it just starts from a very simple disease, but because you do not do preventive measures, it becomes worse and worse and worse. And when it becomes worse, our body is having a hard time recovering itself. Do you follow? Yes. Okay, kaya the freedom on top of the aloe vera gel, the glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate, which cushions our joints properly, so the pain will subside. Meron rin siyang vitamin C and MSM. Ano ba yung MSM? Methyl, sulfonyl, methane. Those two, also coming from natural sources, they also help repair the connective tissues that is being damaged because of the friction. So, all the ingredients, they work together to help us have proper joint function and mobility. Yun po ang function ng freedom. Okay? May nagtanong sa akin kagabi, what if gusto mag-cleansing pero meron siyang arthritis at the same time? Okay? Ano bang ititake niya? Aloe vera gel or forever freedom? Sabi sa kanya, Nag-cleansin siya, uminom siya ng aloe vera gel, tagdagan pa niya ng freedom. Okay? And there is no harm in marrying both because ito ang laman niya ni aloe vera gel at may glucosamine. Okay? Do you follow? So ito po yung main product natin sa joint. So, actually, after I present this, 
Tapos na yung presentation ko actually sa pag meron akong kausap na one on one, apat yun, apat lang na produkto yan ang pinipresent ko. Pero hindi ganun katagal. Pinatagal ko lang ngayon kasi dinitalye ko para po sa inyong lahat. Hindi kayo doktor ha, hindi kayo nagre-reseta. Okay? You are just recommending to them that this product can help them. At pag tanongin kayo, pa, paano nakakatulong yan? So, alam mo na pa paano explain. Sama rin mo lang. May dinisin yung mga dinis sa katawan mo para magandang absorption mo. Okay? So, bibigyan ka ng tamang sustansya, etc. etc. So, may option ka na, okay? The garlic helps dilate the vessels. That's why it lowers down the glycerides and the high blood pressure. Okay? That's why you now know And it also has some natural antibiotic properties. It protects our body as well. Okay? So, meron tayong ginko. Why is ginko also part of the cardiovascular? Because ginko increases circulation of blood to the brain. Okay? So, ang ini-increase na po ang circulation sa oxygen that goes to the brain properly. Kaya nakakapag-concentrate po tayo. May teenagers, when they have exams or quarterly exams, they take ginko so that they can study, they can concentrate better. Okay? Yung po ang function ng ginko. And it aids with poor memory. It also aids with mental fatigue. Lalo na yung mga pagod sa trabaho, halos ang ayaw may iniisip. Okay? Elevates mood and energy and increases concentration, alertness, and metabolism. Okay? Napaka-importante po yung circulation na yan. Kasi pag may para sa circulation mo, everything is affected. So you have to try to use products that is helping you clear up your digestive system and clean up also your blood circulation. So your body is always functioning at a high level. Okay? So, energy. Ito para sa sustansya. No? Uh, energy. No? Nutrition. Number one, aloe vera gel. Number two, Bee pollen. Halos na-explain na natin yan, di ba? Ano pa yung ibang mga products dyan na makakatulong sa pagbigay ng nutrition? Ano yung formula natin? Vitamins and minerals in the blood equals energy. So, any, any vitamin supplement here that has vitamins or minerals will always give us energy. Okay, so you can recommend Jin Chia. Why Jin Chia? Jin stands for ginseng. It's an energy food of the East. Golden Chia seeds is also an energy food of the West. Our company marry both energy foods. So both herbs are powerful antioxidants. Now, when we talk about antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E. Yeah. So my B complex, pa siya, B1, B2, my C, my D. Plus, thiamine, riboflavin, calcium, iron, sodium, potassium, capsicum, zinc, copper, magnesium, and manganese. Ano po itong mga to? Minerals. So, vitamins, minerals. Pag ito, pumasok sa luko, ano yung resulta? Kaya, yan, kagaya ng B-pollen, you can also take it as needed. Okay? For added energy. When you exercise, when you play, whatever sports that you are into. Jin Chia also helps you. Okay? So, nag nagkakaparehos pa yung function nila? Eh, ano magagawa natin? Eh, marami kasing gulay, prutas, ginawa ang may kapal. Okay? Iba't ibang klase. So, para sa atin lahat po niya. Okay? So, now, honey. Yung bee honey natin, ito rin po ang uh, ginagamit namin uh, para sa pampatamis ng mga pag ng mga oatmeal ng gatas ng mga anak ko. Okay, I always order this, no? It's great tasting, masarap siya. Okay, but it does not damage our system. It gives us also energy because marami rin siyang nutrients dito. And remember, just like the bee pollen, the honey is also collected by the worker bee from hundreds or thousands of flowering plants. So lahat po ng sustansya, all the nutrients that is being collected is also in this raw honey. That's why it is also a very good source for energy. When you eat oatmeal, instead of sugar, honey ang ilagay po. If you have to drink milk or coffee, you want it sweetened, oh, honey, not sugar. Okay? 
Gusto niyo yung prutas niyo, matamis, huwag yung mga cream, huwag yung mga condensado, huwag yung mga honey. Eat it with your fruit. It's a natural sweetener that gives you extra energy. Okay? And nutrition at the same time. Approximately 70 calories per serving. This natural sweetener is easily digested and provides an incredible punch of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, proteins, and amino acids. Halos kompleto. Okay? So, maintindihan niyo po? Okay, yung mga nabibili niyo po na honey sa labas, alam ko mas mura. 100 pesos, 90 pesos, compared to forever honey is 600 or kano yan, 700. Di ba? Or 500 kung distributor ka. Okay? But, yung benefits naman. Okay, bumili ka ng mga honey, it has a lot of additives in there. Okay? Basically, some sugars in there, they are pasteurized, you don't enjoy anything. Maybe it damages your system. It adds up to the plugging up. Okay? Now, eto rin. This is also a product that has not been probably known to a lot of distributors. Nature's 18. Now, Nature's 18, ito po ay 18 of the best fruits and vegetables pinagsama-sama po dito ginawa pong tableta. Uh, some of the CA or cancer patients, they have what we call these juicers at home. They harvest a lot of, they buy a lot of vegetables and fruits and they put it in the juicer and whatever the result, the, the, the extract, they drink it straight. And they don't care about the taste because they, their body is contaminated with these cancer cells. Now, we have a good product that you don't have to go through that painstaking uh, juicing up of all these vegetables and fruits. Completo na po yan. You have apples there, you have bananas, you have elderberries, you have cranberries. You have uh, all the other fruits, no? plus the legumes, yung mga vegetables, no? prunes, bell pepper, zucchinis, limes. Completo po yung 18 of the best fruits and vegetables. So, ito ang nagsusupport po sa katawan natin with the fruits and vegetables it needs to maintain your health. No? Fruits and vegetables contain powerful health-promoting and immune-enhancing antioxidants and other phytochemicals and are important source of many nutrients our bodies need daily. So, apat po na tablet per day if you are not eating any fruit or any vegetable. Pero if you are eating some fruits and some vegetables, then you can just take maybe two. So, one box, uh, 30 packs, each pack, four tablets. So, that's actually good for a month. Okay, that is a supplement. Para sa mga hindi mahilig sa prutas, or wala nang chance makakain ng prutas sa kagulay dahil sa kabisi nila sa trabaho. You need to take this. No? Uh, then, forever kids. This is for our children. Not only for kids, but also for grown up. So, we become forever kids. Okay? So, this is also a, a kids multivitamins and multiminerals coming from natural vegetables and fruits. Okay, carrots, apples, oranges, broccoli, lahat po yan. Okay, now, how do we process this into tablets? Some people are asking, eh, paano naging natural pa rin yan or na-preserve yung natural ingredients niya? Alam mo, the technology that we use in, in binding this into tablets, we use the freeze-dry technology. We call it, that's a space technology. The astronauts on top, circulating for many weeks, they don't bring in the, the real vegetables. They have to cook it. No cooking them. They are all freeze-dried. Okay, ano po ibig sabihin na freeze-dried? Freeze the natural fruits and vegetables, as soon as it is ripe, they harvest it, they wash it with clean water, then they freeze it. Pinapalamig po yan without the frost. So, once it is hard, tumitigas yan dahil sa lamig, pinapowder po yan. Our company powders it, and then we bind it and make it into tablet. Ano po yung binder natin? Honey. Okay? So, yung mga astronauts po na yan, when they want to eat pizza, yung totoong pizza sa Earth, okay? Pinapalami, pinapowder, ginagawang pakete ng maliit. Kaya kung gusto sila kumain ng pizza, may marka dyan, pizza. Diba? Punit pizza kayo. <laughs> Okay? Kaya mga futuristic movies, di ba? Mga supplements, mga tabletas na lang iniinom. 
yung na nagbibigay ng sustansya sa kanila. Okay? And we are heading towards that direction because of what? Because of modernization. There are no longer uh, agricultural lands because it is now subdivisions. Kaya marami tayong baha, kaya marami tayong mga natural disasters. Kasi mga dating dinadaanan ng tubig, ng uh, kung ano nung dati, no? ngayon, marami ng baha, marami ng gusali, kaya we meddle with nature. Kaya tayo rin, ang uh, so, ingredients ang meron dito. Number one, it has young green barley. Ngayon pa lang umuuso yung mga barley grass. We have this product since many years ago. So, it contains potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, sodium, copper, phosphorus, zinc, and manganese. So, minerals. Ang dami. Now, meron pa siyang wheatgrass. So, wheatgrass contains vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. May alfalfa pa siya. Rich in minerals, vitamins A, B6, E, and K. And added cayenne pepper. Yung cayenne pepper, that's for uh, to maintain healthy circulation and digestion. So, lahat po yan nasa fields of greens. Okay? So, it basically gives us energy. And it also helps improve the circulation. Kaya pwede rin ito idagdag sa metabolism kanina. So, for people like people who are diabetic or the, meta uh, excuse me, the metabolism is hampered, kaya pwede rin itong fields of greens. Okay? So, yun yun. Now, absorbent C, vitamin C. Okay? Alam naman natin, it repairs connective tissue, skin, joints, and respiratory function. Okay? So, maraming tatanong, eh, bakit iinom ako nito? Eh, 60 milligrams lang ang vitamin C nito. Eh, yung iba, binibili ko kasi 500 milligrams. Eh, mas marami yung minibisyo. So, what's the difference? Now, I'll tell you. Our body, they thought, ha, yung katawan natin, our body only needs 60 milligrams of vitamin C at any given point of time. 60 lang po ang kailangan. Why does the pharmaceutical company uh, produce 500 milligrams? You know why? Because ascorbic acid is a water-soluble vitamin. Anong ibig sabihin ng water-soluble vitamin? When you uh, take it, it just passes through your system. Pag ihi mo, tanggal na lahat ang vitamin C. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mabilis mawala ang vitamin C sa katawan natin. That's what we mean by water soluble. Okay? Plus, kung magsisigarilyo ka, nag inhale ka ng pollution, every stick of cigarette that you smoke, you lose 25 milligrams of vitamin C. That's why when your vitamin C is depleted, na-affected yung connective tissues mo, walang nagre-repair. Yung skin mo na-affected, kaya tingnan mo kumukulubot yung mga skin nila. Okay? So mga smokers or palaging exposed sa pollution, mabilis kang tumanda, in short. Okay? So, what our company did is we only put 60 milligrams because that is what our body needs, but, but, it they mix, they marry 60 milligrams of vitamin C with 500 milligrams of oat bran. What is oat bran? Just like the oatmeal that a lot of us are eating. Yung oatmeal, di ba pag kumakain pa, medyo mabigat sa tiyan. It's kind of heavy on our stomach. Why? Because oats, they travel slowly in our digestive system. Okay? Now, because it travels slowly in our digestive system and the vitamin C is bonded, <laughs> nakadikit doon sa oats, so the vitamin C stays longer in our digestive system compared to the ascorbic acid, totoo, 500 milligrams. But when you take it, the company assumes may may iwan na at least 60. So all the 400 plus are just wasted. Do you follow? Okay? So, yun po ang explanation dyan. Okay? Kaya, now, kung nandito kay sa Manila, one tablet, chewable tablet of this is not enough because you are exposed to pollution. So, you have to take in more. But if you're in the provinces or you're in the bundoks or in the bukid or in the, in the provinces na medyo presko yung hangin, then probably one tablet is enough. Okay, unless your body is compromised. Okay? So you have to take more. So, 
Ngayon, may Royal Jelly rin. Na halos na kompleto ko na yung food uh, products, no? Now, Royal Jelly is food of the Queen Bee. So, special food ito na ginagawa ng mga bees for the queen. So, marami rin siya. Enzymes, protein, minerals, vitamins, D-complex, and amino acids. So, basically, it also gives us energy. And, and because it's full of the queen bee, it's also believed that it also helps us in fertility. Ang sa mga babae, yung gustong magkaroon ng baby. Kasi kung matrabaho ng queen, panganak ng panganak ng panganak, pero hindi mabilis mamatay. C, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, and grape. C. Lahat po na yan, ang extracts po nito, pinagsama-sama dito, no water. Okay? It's just the pure extracts of these fruits. That's why it is very pure, very concentrated. You only need to drink one, one to two ounces per day. Okay? Now, you can also mix this with the aloe vera gel. Every four ounces of aloe vera, one ounce of the bonus tea. Okay? And it gives you a complete, more or less complete fruits and vegetable drink. Okay? Halos complete na. Ano ba yung function nito ng bonus tea? It actually, it actually protects our cell, which is the basic structure of our body, from what? From the radicals. Ito yung mga nagdadamage siya sa cells natin. And when our cells oxidizes, that's why we grow old faster. Pag nag-oxidize. Example of the apple fruit, pag i-slice mo, leave it open, it oxidizes. Now, the antioxidant, that's the opposite of oxidation. Antioxidation. So, anong trabaho ng antioxidant niya? They protect the cell from free radicals, from pollution, okay? From what? From stress, from smoking, and other things that damages even from cancer cells. Okay? That damages our cell. Okay? Diba? The cell grouped together becomes a tissue. Grouped together becomes an organ. Grouped together becomes a system. Grouped together becomes the whole body. So, hindi naman tayo doktor, di ba? Pero nag-aaral po tayo ng biology, second year high school, that the cell is the basic structure of our body. So, maski hindi tayo doktor, even if we're not in the medical field, you have to understand that in order for our cell to be healthy, it only needs two simple things, oxygen and proper nutrition. The nutrition we can offer with our products. The oxygen we have to exercise. Now, what is the purpose of exercise? This is what I forgot last time. Those who attended my weight management because of the time. Okay? Five minutes have to be done. Okay? Because exercise, the importance of exercise is for blood circulation. It is not for bodybuilding. Okay? When you exercise, especially aerobic exercise, it is in order for your blood to circulate better. So the nutrients that is in your blood can circulate. And that's why it should be an aerobic exer exercise, meaning a continuous activity about 20 to 30 minutes so that your blood will circulate. But warm up the engine. warm up that one thing. So now, the antioxidants will protect your cells from the damage. Okay? So if you have a lot of antioxidants in your body, you do not easily grow old. You will grow old in age. All of us will grow old in age. But health-wise, because there's a difference between your lifespan and your health span. Some people have a lifespan of 90 years old. Mabot sila ng 90. But yung health span nila is only 60. Meaning, at 60 years old, my arthritis, my high blood, my myoma, may kung ano mga sakit. So they were in pain until they die. Meaning, ang health span mo was only 60. 
ang lifespan mo is nine. So, para hindi tayo madali magkamatamahan ng sakit. Okay? First, again, aloe vera because it strengthens the immune system. And number two, be propolis. Bakit be propolis? Di ba? Kaya maganda yung mga bee products na yan. The, the pollen for energy. The royal jelly for energy fertility. The honey, again, for energy. Ito lang ay iba. Because propolis is used by the bees to protect their hive. Ito yung nag nagtatakip ng hive ng bees so that it will not be infected by bacteria, by fungus, by viruses. The hive of the bees is very clean, meaning it is a hundred times cleaner than the cleanest operating room or sterilized operating room in the hospital. Ganon po kalinis yung bahay ng bees. That's why they have survived for millions of years without evolving into another insect. Okay? So, saan ba galing yung propolis? Yung propolis, galing po yan sa laway po ng worker bees. But they mix it with certain barks and leaves of trees. May halo po yan from nature. Okay? It's a, it's a chocolate dressing that we make it into a powder. So, pag nagtitake po tayo ng bee propolis, it goes to our bloodstream. Pag may pumapasok na infection, anong ginagawa ng propolis? Tinatakpan po niya yung infection na yan para hindi po mag-damage sa loob ng dugo natin. Do you follow? That's why it helps us also strengthen our immune system. Okay? Kaya maganda itong be populist na to. Every time we don't feel anything, I always take aloe vera gel, garlic, be populist. Kasi ito po may mga natural antibiotic properties. That's why the echinacea is also a, this is also a uh, immune system strengthener. Maganda po rin po ito para sa mga ubo. Mga, you know, kung isa pa lang yung ubo, maganda po itong echinacea. When I am in Canada, I don't have to explain this kasi pag nabanggit ko ng echinacea, oh, meron pala kayo niya. Kasi halos normal sa kanila doon yung echinacea. It is uh, it's an accepted uh, food supplement in in Canada that uh, that it really helps people who have cough. Okay? So, garlic also protects us from free radicals. Okay? Ito yung mga nag-strengthen ng immune system natin. Okay? Yung mga anak ko, uh, when they were small, they experienced what we call this amibiasis, amoeba, bacteria. So, ang, ang naging tu malaking tulong sa kanila, yung berry nectar na yan, yung aloe vera, and the garlic. The garlic, uh, piniprick ko po yun, at pinitiris po namin, in-extract po namin yung garlic from the soft gel, minimix namin with the nectar, pinapainom sa kanila. Okay? And then, the pomistin, again, you know what the pomistin does. It also helps strengthen our immune system. And, lyceum, because it's an antioxidant. May meron din siyang Antioxidants meaning like this, it protects our cells from oxidizing. Okay? So, net vision, para sa mata naman ito, because it has antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E, plus bilberry, also helps uh, us in vision. Okay? For the eyes, no? So, ito yung mga targeted, these are targeted supplements. Okay? Yung core natin, yung mga gel, arctic sea, ito, pag may problema sa mata, magdagdag na lang ito. Okay? But, pag bulag ka na, hindi na yung babalik. Okay, ito, mag-prevent para hindi maging damage ng gusto. Okay, it's prevention. Now, prostate, ito para sa mga lalaki lang po ito, ha? Prostate. Okay, prevention. Okay, and then sa joints, alam nyo na halos yung joints natin. Number one, freedom. Number two, gel. Number three, HA. Take note. Pag meron, mag-recommend kayo ng tao for the joints. Yung freedom helps us cushion the joints, correct? Yes. And repair the connective tissue. The HA will give the joints lubrication. Ito po yung lubrikan. Kaya, always, always, itong sinabi ni Dr. Torres sa amin, always recommend the freedom and HA. Kasama yan. When the freedom was launched way back uh, in 2001 or 2002, uh, nirecommend kay Dr. Uh, pinakita kay Dr. Torres yan, sabi niya, ang ganda ng product nito, but he emailed Rex and told Rex, we lack one more ingredient there. That's the HA. 
That's why the next year, the company came out with the hyaluronic acid. So, pagkasama rin yun. It's a very powerful moisturizer. Dinagdagan pa ng kumpanya ng ginger oil, turmeric. Okay? So, that's why it's a very good, powerful nutritional joint and skin moisturizing supplement in the market. Okay? So, calcium. Ito, this is a very important topic also. Women, ladies, when you reach 30 years old, your body does not absorb calcium anymore. And remember, especially those who have given birth, your body, marami pong na withdraw na minerals from the children na lumalabas sa, sa katawan nyo. That's why you need to supplement with minerals. No? At 30 years old, dahil hindi na nag-absorb ng calcium yung buto natin, so parang bangko yan. Whatever deposit na meron ka sa bones mo, yun na yun hanggang tumanda ka. Ang problema, as you grow older, as we grow older, our body needs calcium, correct? To function. Uh, yung other function. Kaya saan siya mag-withdraw? Mag-withdraw siya from the bones. Kaya, kung konti, dahan-dahan yung, yung calcium sa bones mo, your bones becomes brittle. That's why some of them, you develop what you call osteoporosis. Kaya gumaganon, habang tumatanda. Okay? That is because of lack of calcium. So, 30 years old and above, you have to start supplementing with calcium. Now, how about if you're younger, 18 years old, the more you have to take calcium because that is when your body is absorbing calcium para matibay ang buto natin. Okay? And ang maganda sa calcium natin, it is already combined with vitamin D and magnesium so that for maximum absorption. Okay? Now, meron din po tayong nature mint. Now, nature mint is multi-minerals lang po ito. Walang vitamins dito. May calcium rin po siya at marami po siyang minerals like iron, zinc, potassium, magnesium, manganese, all of this that will help us also function properly. Kaya maganda rin po ito para sa mga buntis. Okay? Prenatal, postnatal care. Okay? Maganda rin po. Ito, ito. And, of course, Ah, uh, ito para sa joints, dinagdag ko lang yung aloe heat. Okay, this is for external use, for muscle pains, for joint pains, immediate relief for arthritic pains. Okay, and uh, meron rin po tayong MSM gel. Okay, it's an organic sulfur found in almost all living organisms. Paganda rin po yan pang half close for joint problems. Okay, so I won't be discussing the weight management anymore because I discussed it yesterday. So that ends my presentation for today. So have you learned something today? Yes or no? Yes! So before we end, okay, do you have any questions? Alam po, ang dami-dami pinag-usapan natin. Okay? So I hope you become an effective distributor. Now you become an MD. Okay? Medyo doktor. So marami na kayong pwedeng maikwento ngayon.